now we will see the next phase after preprocessing in the previous video we had seen how preprocessing can be applied to a c program and what happens during preprocessing after preprocessing the next phase is assembling where the program uh, is converted into assembly code the resulting assembly code is still in text form let us see how to convert the preprocessed output into the assembled form so we have to use the option minus yes gcc hyphen capital s on the preprocess file we can also do do this on the c program what happens then is it would preprocess and then assemble in this command it is just assembling because circle.i already contains the preprocessed code so let's run this command now it has successfully assembled let's see if any new file has been created as you can see there is a new file called circle.s that has been created let's see the contents of circle.s okay so as you can see you can see the assembly code equivalent to our circle.c program so during the assembly phase the source code written in a higher level programming language is converted into the equivalent assembly code so you can also use the option hyphen verbose dot asm this option provides much more documentation uh, the output produced is much more readable as in it will tell you which variables are stored in what registers and such things so let us run this command let's see what happens okay again the output is written to circle dot s let's go to circle dot s and it's saying that the contents of circle dot s have changed let's reload it so all these things starting with hash are to be treated as comments okay then here you can see that this instruction has the variable radius that we have used in our program and d area and so on so you can keep track of how variables are related to registers and so on okay this is uh, this form is much more readable and hence yeah, you can try to assemble uh, try to understand this assembly code in a much better manner so this is how we convert the preprocessed code into the assembly code after the code has been assembled the next phase is that of compiling here yeah. so to just compile okay so by compile i mean converting assembly into object code okay the generic term compile actually usually means to convert a source program into the executable so i am using the compile in a stricter sense as to converting from the assembly code to the object code so we'll use again here you can compile the dot c program in which case it is preprocessed assembled and then compiled if i use the assembled code itself it is directly compiled now so hyphen c option says that only compile do not link let's see if there are any new programs created yes we have a program called circle dot o if we try to actually read the contents of it let's try reading the contents of it you will see that it doesn't make any sense okay because now the code is no longer in the source form but is the binary form
so this binary code that is there is called as uh, the ELF format the executable and linkable format the instructions are uh, in the circle.o or in this format next what's the difference between the object code and the final executable code in our example circle.o has the object code and circle.x has the final executable so let us just compare this files ls minus l circle dot o and circle dot x i am comparing the object file with the dot o extension with the executable with the one with the dot x extension if you see here the object code is much smaller in size when compared to that of the executable the reason being the object code the code instructions in the source form are converted into objects and if we go back to our program the original circle.c you will see that you have used lot of built in functions like printf and the such so the for the code for printf is not readily available in in our object file because all the uh, libraries are maintained as compiled binaries so uh, here our object file will contain only references to this already existing binary codes for the built in function so these references needs to be resolved and this resolution happens in the next phase which is said to be linking where the object code any external reference in the object code is actually bound to the object code of the function called this is usually for built in functions so to compile we just need to use a gcc circle dot o and output it to say circle dot x so now the circle dot o file has been linked and the final executable is stored in circle dot x when i next type circle dot x dot slash circle dot x i am now loading the executable circle dot x into main memory and the program starts running so to recap a c program goes through several phases first it is pre processed then assembled then compiled linked to get the final executable this executable using a loader program we will load it to main memory and the program executes so this is how the life cycle of a c program progresses thank you